I just searched all over Upwork and I found the top 10 worst Upwork profiles. And I'm gonna go through each one of those and show you why it's particularly weak in various areas so that you can make sure that your profile does not look like one of these. Now, the purpose of this video is not to poke fun at or laugh at these freelancers. If your profile happens to be one of the profiles in this video, don't be offended. Just take this as an opportunity to get, to get some really good constructive feedback so that you can then go and update your profile and totally revamp it so that you can start finding more clients and find the success that you want. I just, I found these profiles at random, so the chances of one of these profiles being yours is pretty low, but still don't be offended if it happens to be yours. And I tried to find profiles from a couple of different types of categories, so it's not just all from the same type of freelancer and from different areas of the world. So there's a good variety and a sampling here. Each of these profiles have some similarities in why they're weak, but they also have some unique aspects to them and why they're weak. And so this is just to give you that contrast of definitely don't make your profile look like this. A lot of the profile reviews that I've done is from freelancers that don't have profiles that are this weak. Um, most of the profiles that I've reviewed have weak areas in them that are limiting the freelancer's potential. But I wanted to show some profiles that are particularly weak in a lot of areas uh, to make sure that if you are watching this video that your profile doesn't have any of these aspects to it because it's definitely going to turn clients off and make it much harder to find success. And I just want to make a note that these profiles are public. So the, the freelancer has already given the internet permission to find them, to see the profile for anyone to find and see it. And so there's no, uh, these aren't, there's no privacy issues here. Um, but this is simply for educational purposes so that you can take a hard look at your own profile and make sure it doesn't have any of these features. Okay, let's take a look at this first profile. So this freelancer, uh, their job title is Seamless Support Awaits, Hire Me as Your Virtual Assistant. So... <laughs> Um, and by the way, I, I picked, I didn't want to judge people's profiles who didn't have fluent English skills because then it would be a little bit unfair that the weakness in their profile would be very much based off the fact that they don't speak English well. So I only picked profiles that claimed that they at least have fluent English skills or better, um, so that they can, you know, have a fair judgment there. So seamless support awaits, that's a very odd way of starting your job title. Um, seamless, not sure what that relates to with being a virtual assistant. Hire me, anytime you say hire me in your job title or in your about description, it just shows a high level of desperateness that it will turn off a client very quickly. Um, so there's just all sorts of problems with this job title here. We're gonna zoom in so that you can get a better look at this. Okay, now let's take a look at the about description. Skill summary, all one word, just, you know, obviously big grammatical errors there. And you never wanna start a, an about description by just listing skills. You wanna start with some kind of sentence or paragraph that uh, speaks to your target client and talks about the main goal that they have and how you're gonna help them achieve that goal. You don't just cut right into a list of skills, uh, e-commerce, product researching, sourcing, e-commerce platform management. Uh, you know, it's just kind of vague, but at the same time, very random list of skills, technical proficiency with e-commerce tools and software, executive and administrative assistance. And then it just goes on to list a lot more different software and tools to find a job as a virtual assistant. Um, it doesn't help to just list all the different tools you can use. You need to talk about how you're going to be that jack of all trades, high level communicator, um, and, and kind of prove that in your about, in your about description so that you can be adaptable to whatever the needs are of that client you can easily be trained the way that's worded. It almost seems like you're, uh, like pitching yourself as like a pet. <laughs> 
Um, but it's not quite, you know, what I would, how I would word that. Um, excellent communication presentation skills, ability, space of multitask and just, you know, weird grammatical structure here. Um, doing a space or clicking enter and then having a new line for the rest of the sentence. Um, ability, ability to work in team and independent, you know, grammatical issues, able to work alone without supervision. That's a little weird to say as a freelancer. Um, all freelancers are working alone without supervision. So well organized, eager to learn and proactive. It just seems like a, a child almost wrote a lot of this. Um, so there's just some issues grammatically a lot of substance lacking in talking about like a target client or any kind of um or any kind of focus on what makes you a unique virtual assistant um just a uh, overall lack of organization focus weird wording being used in the job title um that's that's really where a lot of those area those issues are lying and from what I'm seeing, there's no portfolio section filled out at all. You got to have, it doesn't matter if you have no paid experience, come up with something from just whatever you've done in practice or previous jobs to put in your portfolio section. Okay. Next profile. All right. This one, first I wanted to bring your attention to the, uh, profile image here. That's, uh, pretty frightening. <laughs> It looks like it's just a screenshot pulled from a movie of a character. Um, don't ever do weird pictures in your profile. This isn't a social media profile with your friends. This is a professional profile. We are trying to find people to hire you and pay you money. Um, you got to have a real professional looking photo, not something weird like that. So, uh, that's the first issue. Um, then Hey, technical writer, again, just very vague job title. You're not going to stand out just having two words that just say technical writer. Um, you've got to get more specific than that. I'm a mechanical engineer working as a technical and creative writer. Okay. If you're, if you have a professional background as a mechanical engineer, first of all, why aren't you trying to find mechanical engineering jobs on Upwork? They are available. Um, but two, don't mention what you are that has nothing to do with what you're pitching as a freelancer. Don't say I'm a mechanical engineer, but I'm working as a technical and creative writer for more than three years. Um, because then the free, the client's going to think, well, are you a writer or a mechanical engineer? Like, what is your focus? What is your specialty? What are you trying to pitch to me as your service? Uh, don't, don't ever mention that you have a certain job that's unrelated to, um, what you're trying to pitch as your service and just saying I am and just repeating what you've already said in your job title. Again, it's a waste of space for that first sentence. It's gotta be much more compelling. And then the debate, the, the domains I am professional in include, and then there's a list of like a hundred things here. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, it's, it's a client's not going to want to read through this many bullet points. Um, the way that this is prefaced, the domains I am professional in, it's kind of weird grammar, weird way of talking about it. Um, it you're not even using words like my specialty might've been a better way to word that saying I am professional in is a little weird way. Of, it's just an odd way to say that. Uh, I would just delete this whole about description and start over, um, and watch some other videos I have on about descriptions. And just to give you guys an opportunity real quick, there's, if you look at the links below, if you want your Upwork profile to be revamped, speaking of Upwork profiles and how many freelancers are struggling to find clients because their Upwork profiles are not strong enough. I have a course all about revamping your Upwork profile. It's only $7 and it goes into great depth and how to write a great, how to optimize your Upwork profile to find clients. And then I've also got a freelance family man membership program where I will optimize your Upwork profile. Personally, I'll give you a detailed review on what you need to do to upgrade and change it. And as part of that program for $59 a month, you'll get access to a ton of course material support from me and the group coaching setting throughout the month. It's a really great opportunity. If you want to really fast track your success as a freelancer. 
whether you're just beginning or whether you're trying to take it to the next level, that membership will meet you where you're at. So um, at last notes on this port on this profile is literature review of business intelligence. Okay, if you're going to be a writer, you got to have some more substantial examples than this. Um, and again, in the skills section, they put mechanical engineering. So it makes it seem that you are trying to find mechanical engineering jobs. You've got to pick either that or you've got to pick writer and you've got to go with one or the other. Don't try to be confusing about you being both things, but it's in the job title. You're only saying technical writer. You've got to pick something to go after and make that your whole focus. So, all right, moving on to the next profile. Amazon virtual assistant, Amazon expert, professional graphic designer. Okay, that's a few different things here. Um, same kind of feedback as the last one of, don't try to go after being a professional graphic designer and an Amazon expert and an Amazon virtual assistant. Um, you know, Amazon specific virtual assistant. You know, maybe that's a weird way to niche being a virtual assistant. Um, but Hey, if you want to be the only one on Upwork, that's a virtual assistant for specifically Amazon, uh, or like Amazon sellers, then you could say like virtual assistant for Amazon sellers. And you leave it at that. And you're like the one guy that's focusing on that very specific niche niche as a virtual assistant, or just choose to be a graphic designer and pick a niche within that, that you're a graphic designer for a certain type of company, but throwing all this in there is really going to hurt your SEO on Upwork and confuse the client on what you're really specializing in. You start the upper, the about description by saying, hello, welcome to Upwork. It's a really weird way to start your about description. You don't need to welcome people to Upwork. Um, that's a waste of, you know, the first five, four words right there. You need to immediately get into why you are the guy that's going to solve your client's problem and letting them know that you know what their problem is and what their main goals are. And then repeating what your name is. Nobody needs to know the name. You already have your name in your Upwork profile here. And, and Multan Khan here, an experienced Amazon private label expert and graphic designer. I helped many brands on Amazon. Okay, there's some grammatical issues there. There's just the issue of you saying that you're an experienced this. You're just repeating what's already in your job title. You don't want to be doing that in the first sentence of your about description. I'm here to find solutions of your problems. That's a grammatical issue for your problems is what it should be and also solve the problem. Okay, that's weirdly redundant. I'm here to find solutions of your problems and also solve the problem. Well, that's the same thing, right? Find solutions of your problems, also solve the problem. There's nothing that will turn off a client more than having bad grammar. It, he says that he is fluent in English. This is not a representation of fluent English skills. Fluent means that you were not born in the US or the UK, but you've learned English to such an extent where somebody reading something you've written or listening to you talk, they'll have no idea that you weren't born. You might have an accent, but you'll be so dialed in with your grammar, especially in your written communication that, uh, nobody would know the difference and think that you were born in another country. They would think, Oh yeah, you have excellent English skills. This is not showing that you have good English skills. That is a big deal. That's a big deal. If you want to be finding clients and finding, uh, success on Upwork, um, unless you're only trying to go after clients in a certain country that is with your language, um, then your upper profile should just be in that language, right? So Amazon, you know, spelling errors here, brand story, listing optimization, Amazon storefront, more in services. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Oh, your services section. I can help you with these services. Again, don't come out of the gate with such all these capital letters, all these check marks. It's just, it's too much. Uh, I'd get rid of all the check marks. Um, product research, too many bullet points here, repeating yourself. Um, it's find a list of few of these that have to do with your specialty. But again, there's not much in here regarding graphic design. You seem to focus a lot more on the Amazon selling side of things. So my recommendation for you is really just to choose to be an Amazon virtual assistant and then focus on just the Amazon specific skills and not even mention <clears throat> 
and not even mention graphic design at all. It's just spreading yourself too thin. Um, you know, it's good you have a few portfolio pieces here, but again, really choosing that focus and not trying to go after too many things. Okay, next profile. Experienced freelance, experienced all around virtual assistant. Okay, never put the word freelance or freelancer in your job title. Everyone knows you're a freelancer. That's the whole point in being on Upwork. So that's just a, it's going to really turn clients off, think that you're unexperienced, think that you don't really understand freelancing, and it's going to be a waste of the space that you should be using for other keywords to boost the SEO on your profile. Um, experienced, also don't put things like experienced in your job title. You shouldn't be over talking your experience by saying your experience, especially in your job title. Um, all around, you know, that's just kind of a more, very vague way to describe being a vir You would have been better off just saying virtual assistant than having any of this before it. Um, hey there, I'm Jezel. Don't say your name. Don't say, hey there, you're wasting valuable real estate in that first sentence. Let me be of help and become your next virtual assistant. I can start working for you ASAP. Don't say things to show that you're desperate for work. Like I can start working for you ASAP. I'm available 40 plus hours a week. You don't want to say things like that. Um, it just shows the desperateness. We can still negotiate about the rate too. Don't ever say that you're willing to negotiate your rate. It also shows that you're really desperate for work and it shows that you don't value your, it shows that you don't value your skills, that you're willing to take work for anything. Yeah, I'll work for you for $1 an hour. You know, I don't care. I just want work. Yeah, you don't want to say things like that. By the way, I'm an experienced data entry specialist, customer service representative, an all-around virtual assistant from the Philippines. You don't need to repeat for where you're from. It's already in your um, profile. These are some of the samples of my work experience here in Upwork. Data entry specialist. Um, these aren't really samples. You're just listing experience that you've had. So you're not actually giving examples to me. I would focus more on the data entry specialist part of what you do and make that virtual assistant colon data entry specialist. That would be a better job title, customer service support. And, and you kind of cut off mid sentence there. So grammar issues, check, check, check your grammar, find somebody to help you learn the grammar all around virtual assistant, specializing in email management. Okay. And then it just goes on. I'm also an educator with a master's degree in leadership. Don't rehash what you, your degree is. That's not what the Upwork about description is for. Um, I'm telling you this to better assure you of the quality of my service. Don't over talk saying I'm telling you this because that's over talking. It's again, just taking things too far. Um, saying I'm trying to assure you of the quality of my service. You don't need to ever say anything regarding I, I'm, I want to ensure you of how quality my service is. You just prove it. You just prove, 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 prove it through how you're talking in your about description rather than over talking about the fact that you deliver quality service. Um, I always ensure a hundred percent accuracy when doing data entry by proofreading. Again, you got to prove this by proofreading your own about description. There's a lot of grammar issues in your about description. I'm applying for the job for me to better improve myself and be of help to others. That's not a necessary sentence at all. Um, I can satisfy the requirements you're looking for. You don't know that yet until you meet, read their job post for in a candidate for, I'm very much willing to be trained again, kind of a weird sentence, weird grammar. Let's go to the next. We've only gone through one, two, three, four. All right. We still have six more and, uh, I may split this video into two parts. So let's do one more profile and then there'll probably be a part two of this video for the other five. All right. Digital marketing manager. Um, oh, by the way, profile image, don't make it look like a mug shot, like you're in prison, you know, smile or do a more professional facial expression that doesn't look very mug shoddy. Um, cause that's, that's what this one looks like. Digital marketing manager, be more specific than that. Um, with the kind of niche you're focusing on my name, don't repeat your name here. I'm 24 years old. Definitely don't say how old you are. I mean, that is very irrelevant and a weird thing to mention in your about description. I have some strong work experience. That's a weird way to say that you have strong, that you have work experience. Don't ever say, Hey, I have strong work experience. I have work experience. It's kind of a waste of 
prove your experience by just talking about the actual experience. Don't, don't ever spend time in your about description saying that you have experience or lots of experience. Or again, it's that over talking aspect that freelancers tend to do, um, who are not successful that they're just, um, spending too much time on that. I'm working for Tring TV Albania in the marketing department. If you have a full-time job right now, don't mention that in your about description. It's going to make clients think that you're not available for freelance work. I deal with social media campaigns, spots, etc. Okay. It's just kind of a weak description there of what you're actually doing, of what your skills are. Don't just say, etc. actually list out the few things you're talking about. My top skills include, and then a bunch of bullet points here that are kind of all over the place, everything from Facebook marketing to Canva, social media, communication skills, which you're not proving in your about description. You're not showing us that you actually have strong communication skills. You're showing us that your communication skills are weak. So this has to be a lot better written so that you actually have good communication skills and then have some kind of video to also show that you have good communication skills and then prove it in your proposal. Don't just talk about that. You have good communication skills, especially when, um, it's clear that you don't in how things are written. Um, I'm ready to learn new jobs and can adapt fast in every work, odd grammar. And also a weird thing that you don't want to talk about that. You, I'm willing to learn anything and adapt to anything. It just shows that you're like, don't have a focus with your freelance business. They're willing to take any work on anything and it's just not focused enough. And there's no portfolio here either pick a niche come up with examples to put in your portfolio, even if you have to, um, even if you have to create projects for yourself to put into your portfolio, it doesn't have to be from paid clients. Okay. We just went through five of some of the worst Upwork profiles in part two of this video, which you can watch next. I'll go through another five profiles and each of these profiles, there's different things that I like to highlight about why it's weak. And what I think one theme that we've seen so far in the five that we've gone over already is a lack of good written communication skills that there's some issues with how they're structuring their about description or their job title. You know, they could have started it talking about this instead of this, but overall there's also just a lack of communication skills in general, a lack of written communication skills. If you're trying to find any type of client that is English based, which is most of the clients around the world, even when they're in other countries, you need to have solid English skills. If not Upwork may not be the platform for you. There might be other freelancer platforms that are in your country that are only for clients that speak your language. But if you're trying to go after the English clients, if you're on Upwork at all, it's an English first platform, get your, the best thing you can do is take a step back, get some education on your written communication skills and get really good at those skills in verbal and in written communication skills, because then that's going to turn a client off regardless of how you structure your about description, regardless of how you structure your job title, you've got to get those communication skills in place. And that was a clear theme of some of the main weaknesses in all five of these profiles that we went over today. And like one of these profiles is a writer, you know, they're pitching themselves as a writer, um, virtual assistant, digital marketing manager. These jobs are, are very important jobs to have very exceptional English skills in, if you want to be finding any clients in that area. All right. Again, if you want me to help you directly with your upper profile, click the link below and check out the courses that I have available. And, uh, I will see you in the next video in part two, where we go over another five of some of the up worst Upwork profiles that I have been able to find so that you can make sure that yours doesn't look like one of these. And again, if you happen to be one of these that I chose, then take it as constructive feedback. We're not here to poke fun, to embarrass anyone. We're here to give you an opportunity to improve and find the success that you're looking for until next time.